Yeah, that's right, guys. Hoffmeister already topping the million dollar fundraising mark. Governor Kevin Stitt, for his part, so far raising $5 million. And odds are those numbers will grow in the 132 days until the general election. I feel really good. I mean, Oklahoma, we've got a lot of momentum in our state. I'm just so proud of where we're at. So grateful. Uh, so many volunteers, so many uh, have been stepping up and are ready for change. Uh, and we are hitting the ground running today. Stitt says the state has had success under his leadership, success he wants to build on. Really excited to have a conversation about that with Oklahomans. Like, what do they want the direction of our state to go? And, and I believe we want to keep our schools open and give parents voices. And so I'll continue to, to grow our economy to become top 10. But Hoffmeister, who left the Republican Party to run in this race, claims that the success the governor talks about is out of reach for too many Oklahomans. She says the state needs more quality jobs. I was talking to a mom who has three jobs, four kids, and she says home ownership is out of reach for her. Uh, it shouldn't be that way. Stitt says he should be reelected because he prioritizes what Oklahomans care about. As a businessman governor, they want me to hold government accountable and make the economy the best it can possibly be be and that's what I'm going to continue to do. Well, Hoffmeister says her priority will be unifying the state. It's time to get back to those Oklahoma values of common sense, working together, uh, respect for one another and courage. And Oklahoma's general election is set for November 8th.